Hey, how's it going? And this is just a quick video on how to modify an existing animation. In the last tutorial, we made a custom animation sequence. And it's just a mannequin morphing into something else, kind of a weird creature. And let's say after watching that sequence, I decided that I want to modify something about it. Like, let's say I wanted to scale the head bigger or something. How would I do that? And that's what this tutorial is about because the process is not as intuitive as you might think it is. So anyway, to get started on this, we're going to go into Mannequin Animation Quinn and we're just going to get the MF Idle and drag it onto the scene. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to Cinematics and I'm going to create a level sequence here. Now I'm going to double click into the level sequence and with the MF Idle selected track, we're going to go add MF Idle to sequence. And you'll notice when I do, it comes in already with a, its own control rig. But we don't want this control rig, so we're just going to select it and delete it. So then we'll go to animation, and we'll get our custom animation that we made. And it's with this one right here. And the one thing I know is, because it's a relatively long animation, I'm going to change the working range in to 1,000. Then I'm going to hit press control and scroll wheel and zoom out. And then I'm just going to drag this red marker all the way out to the end of that animation. So we have plenty of room to work with now. Now, if you don't remember what this animation looks like, I'll go ahead and play it from the beginning. The mannequin just turns its head from the right to the left. And now the neck starts stretching out. And let's say at the point where it starts going off the ground, I want the head to scale up. So I have an existing animation, but I want to modify it. So how would I do that now? So at the point that it starts elevating, let's say I want the head to blow up like a balloon, like it's lifting the body. Okay. Well, the first thing is, let me hit pause. So let me just look and see at what point does it look like the body starts lifting off the ground. So maybe... Maybe it, here you can move a frame at a time, which is real helpful. So maybe, maybe at around 584, let's say. 584, let's say that's where I want, I'll make a note of that. 584 is where I want the head to start scaling. But if you look down here on the controls that I have available, I don't have any controls to modify this rig. So what we do is we'll go ahead and we'll click here on the MF Idle. We're going to right click and we'll go bake to control rig, control rig mannequin body and go create. And then it's going to bake a control rig onto our existing animation and create keyframes everywhere. The issue that arises is that whatever parameter we want to modify, we have to delete the keyframes that are there. And so it becomes a little kind of a little bit of an issue. So here, since I know it's on the head, let me open this up a little bit here. There's all the parameters. You can see all the keyframes and we just have this little tiny area to work with. But let me search for the head control here. And it's this one right here. And it's right here. And if we drill into it, you can see specifically it's gonna be on the X. And I hold down control, I can select all three of these from about frame 584. I can give myself a little bit more real estate here. From about 584, I'm going to make the window a little bit bigger here too. And zoom in just a little bit. If I drag my cursor, and you see where these blue lines are, when I'm not on a keyframe, you'll see the cursor changes to a plus sign. So I'll just line up with about 584 right there. Click and drag to select all those keyframes, just like that. Click and drag, I don't have to press any other button. And then go ahead and hit delete. Now, it's not 100% clear from looking at this exactly on what frame I deleted. It's really hard to tell here. And let's see, I'm trying to drill in here to see this zooms me in. This is a weird way to do it. 
to see if I can get down to the individual frame level. It looks like I cut in a little sooner. So it looks like 577, 578. So it looks like I cut in, cut out a few more frames than I needed to right there. So it looks like the last frame. So it looks like here at 578, I would want my animation to start playing. Okay, and you can also try to see if you can find it here on this graph as well, because you can zoom in here as well and see a little bit tighter. And you can see it looks like, yes, 577 is my last frame. So from here, what I would do is make sure auto keyframe is on. And then with these selected, I can just go ahead and add keyframes on these individual parameters here. Add a keyframe, add a keyframe, add a keyframe to lock it. And then I can drag this out maybe about a second or two to maybe like right there. And then I can just increase these parameters here to let's just say around two. Make them all roughly about the same. In fact, I could just type in a value of 2.4, let's say. 2.4, click here, 2.4, and 2.4. Just to make everything even. And then that's it. Now if I come back, I can scroll up here and with the MF Idle selected, I can go bake animation sequence. And I can put it on the content level and go, I can call this animation sequence, let's say two, and go okay, export animation. And now it's created a new animation. Okay, I had just a little bit of an issue with adding the animation, but I just deleted the control rig and now here's the new animation sequence. So let's go ahead and play it. And let's see, it's about the 570th frame that the head starts scaling up. And let's see if that's what happens. Yep. And it's like a balloon, right? So that's how you modify an animation sequence. I hope you found this helpful.